Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today is a video that I've actually been thinking about making for a while now, and now with the most recent um, Trials of the Mighty kind of showing me a little bit more of this kind of issue that Dragalia has, I wanted to kind of look into it. So today's video is all going to be about looking at specifically the state of healers in Dragalia at the moment. Um, so if this is going to be a very, again, these are just my opinions. Feel free to give your opinion. I'll gladly listen. There's no mean to be any hate here. If I think a healer is not as good as it is, I will gladly listen to you defend your healer that you love. I understand that Dragalia is a very character focused game and some people out there absolutely love these characters and I'm always happy to hear opposite uh, opinions on something and I can easily change my mind. So think that going in. <laughs> I'm not here to attack anyone. Um, but anyway, yeah. That's gonna be today's video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. So, the whole reason I actually wanted to start this was because of water. Water has maybe the most strangest mix of healers I've seen. They've only ever received two five-star healers in the entire 2.5 years that the game has been going on. And one of them is super limited, so you actually can't get them as easily as the other. So obviously here they are, Dragon Yule, Lily, Zhang Zia, Nurse Eileen, Thaniel, and Ricard. Uh, I think that's how you say his name, Ricard? Rick? Richard? Ricard. The kindly captain. Anyway, the thing that's weird about this is... I can't believe that it's really been 2.5 years and they've never really- Dragon Yule Lily, I really hate that I was not able to get her because she's apparently so good and there's been so much content with water where I've specifically wanted a good healer. The twins, for example, I want to go all water. That's specifically the way I want to play it, I want to go all water and it would be really helpful if I had her or Zhang. But because I didn't, I have to kind of go with Nurse Eileen, Thaniel, or Ricard. The problem is, is that I don't really feel like Nurse Eileen, Thaniel, or Ricard are good enough. Wait, well, I have tried Ricard with his Mana Spiral. I think some people have said like, hey, if you're going to be using one of the um, three star, four star and lower healers for the um, Rise of the Sinister Dominion, your boy is Ricard. But I've been basically going with Nurse Eileen. I think Thaniel actually has a Spiral. That has to be something they did at some point. He doesn't. That's insane to me. That's insane. Neither Thaniel or Nurse Eileen have a spiral. And they both kind of need one, I would say. Zhang has been basically good since she's been released, and Dragon Yule Lily is good. Um, so I actually think if you have one of the two five star, you're in a perfectly good place. It's that if you don't have them, you're kind of suffering. And that wasn't a problem when Grace was the meta. And now Grace in the new difficulty stuff is not really meta anymore because what she does isn't really they've specifically made it so that people don't keep using grace and it kind of screws up a lot of things that i had going so yeah i wanted to start with water water has maybe the most i think it personally needs the most uh help out of anything here okay from here on i will now actually go to the one i think has the best support which is fire <laughs> Fire has an insane amount of healing on their side. They got Kuzanoa, who is a free 5-star. They got Yukata Cassandra, who is a healing unit, but also kind of more focused on DPS. They have Valentine's Hilligard, who is just 100% healing, I think. Um, Halloween Loen, who is Halloween Loen. You don't need to be explained. Um, Verica and Arlene. And um, yeah, Fire has the best healing because it has Halloween Loen. I don't think there's any really... I don't think anyone would really debate. I think the only problem with Fire is that Halloween Loen is the only healer you would really ever use in most cases. I really hope that maybe with the changes with what we're going with Rise of the Sinister Dominion, maybe some others will kind of be seeing play. I know I've seen some stuff with Yukata's Cassandra where she, like, absolutely destroys things DPS wise I think. I think that's what she does. That's what I remember her being able to do. So restores HP to all teammates um, with 87% recovery penalty, grants all teams the Flores and Fish effect for 30 second, give grants over damage. Yeah, so I remember seeing something doing with this and I really think she is more um, geared toward actual fighting compared to the others because Halloween Lowen's not a fire 
Um, so she can kind of be in her own place. If you, f for some reason, do not have Halloween Lowen, though, you're okay, because literally every other healer, I feel, with the exception of Lorian, I don't know if he ever got a Mana Spiral. Did he get a Mana Spiral? He did. So yeah, I think he could end up being a pretty decent healer if you were in a situation where Orion is one of your favorite characters. I think you could probably be usable. Um, the one thing that's probably been the worst thing for fans of Verica, let me just say, Verica has very unfor- I love Verica. She has the unfortunate um, situation of constantly being put into classes of element with a unit that is basically just, this is the only healer you use. Summer Verica has Shadow, which you don't use really Shadow Verica because there's so many other good healers in there. And then there's Halloween Low End for Fire, which you really wouldn't. If you were to choose between these two, you Chancellor would pick Halloween Low End. So yeah, Fire I think is in a very good place. There's not really much more they need to add to it. If they wanted to, I guess sure go for it, but not really a need. Alright, next we got Wind. Wind, I think, ends up being perfectly fine because it has Formal No Help, which is a brand new unit. Um, Akasha is also a very different type of healing unit, similar to um, um, Cassandra. She's more DPS focused. Wedding Zanya, Loen, and Sophie. I think I don't remember if there was anything that Wedding Zanya did. I want to say she needs a Mana Spiral. Yeah, she definitely needs a Mana Spiral. This is insane, by the way. I don't know how Zanya, out of all the female characters, got a wedding art. There has to be someone... First of all, this is fantastic art, by the way. I've always been a fan of Zanya, especially after her Mana Spiral to her 3-star. So I love this, for very obvious reasons, but man. Someone out there loves, and the Dragalia team loves Zanya, and I'm all here for it. It's a shame we don't get more Magical Brides, um, because we do have Wedding uh, Mim, but she was never made into a unit because Dragalia are cowards. Anyway, continuing on. Yeah, Lowen was eventually Mana Spiraled into being basically <laughs> Halloween Lowen, but for Wind. So I think Wind is also in a very good place, actually. I think it has a decent mix of yo, healer-ass healer, and then other type of healer that you can easily use for different purposes. And then you have two backup healers here. Though again, I do think Zanya and probably... No, I think Sophie did get her Mana Spiral, but... Uh, it doesn't matter, because you can get low and as easily as these, so... Yeah. Alright, next. Light. Light is weird, because I really do feel like maybe it's the one... Actually, no, because I think... Light is weird because it has full of, well, first of all, let's look. It's Galazinia, Hildegard, Felicia, Vixel, Halloween, Athena, Estelle, and Hope. Uh, the weird thing about specifically um, light healers is I think Halloween Athema is actually a super heavy DPS unit, if I remember correctly. Because a bitter trick, she has like 100% full HP equals strike. Yes, yeah, she is. Which is insane. It's insane to actually kind of think about it. She deals 1,234% light damage. Yeah, light for some reason has a lot of actual attack focused um, units. Like Galazena, who is 100% a healer, but she is an attack unit. And then you have also Halloween Althema, who is categorized as a healing unit, but you, I think she's mostly used for attacking from what I've seen. I've seen a lot of decent builds with her where it's like, oh yeah, if you know what you're doing with her, she can basically destroy whatever you want. Um, Hildegard is, of course, the most basic of basic healers, but that's perfectly fine. I want to say Vixel, Felicia, Estelle, and Hope are the only units I'd look at and think they might need some form of a buff. I can't remember if they got Mana Spirals, though. I want to say no. They didn't. Hope doesn't have one. I would know if Hope got one, because if he got a buff similar to Templar Hope, she totally did get a Mana Spiral. I don't remember. I did not remember this at all. There's so many units I just want to look back and kind of look, but she also kind of is a basic healer of swords. Um, and Felicia is Felicia. She's cool. I like Felicia. I think the only one I'm unsure about is Vixel, because I think he's all crit boat focused, which unfortunately in this new Rise of the Sinister Dominion meta featuring the Curse and the Hility, it kind of screws up everything that he wants to do. Yeah, he's weird. Yeah, he's energy-based. That sucks. That really sucks. See, this is the, the one thing I really don't like about Curse and Ahility, is that it's supposed to be... There should be totally a way for Vex, Vixels like, to shine, because he's an unused light healing unit. 
but he ends up being completely screwed over. It's similar to how in the 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 want to get rid of Karina, they actually hurt people in the long run. Like people the um crazy vegetable dan. Fan favorite of everyone in Dragalia. If you do not love that vegetable, then there's something wrong with you. Um but in there, the Curse of Nihility completely zapped everything that he did, and they he was basically an afterthought, and it sucks that he got hit so hard. Um, I really wish that they would, those two would specifically get a Mana Spiral so they're able to do what they want to do in this kind of meta environment. And finally, let's look at uh, Shadow, because I actually think Shadow's in the weirdest place. Um, so Grace, uh, absolutely the auto queen when it comes to Agito's. She was so good that they had to eventually limit it on um, elemental types, and when that wasn't enough, they just completely got rid of her shields, 100%. So, it's really a case of, man, they really didn't- <laughs> I don't think they realized how good Grace was. So let's look at the other one. Summer Erker, Heinwald, Cleo, and Edward. Heinwald is a he uh, damage-dealing healer. Um, I remember all the memes of him coming out. I used to never see him, but now with the new Curse and Nihility, I've seen Heinwald a lot more now, which is kind of cool. Summer Verica has a draining HP type move, which is really cool. I personally really like it. I think a lot of people don't like Summer Verica, um, which is a shame because I do think she's a perfectly solid unit, but she does kind of get outclassed by the fact that Cleo is here, and Cleo is a damn good free um, healing unit, especially with her mana spiral and everything. The only problem with her is that you can't use Cleo at the same time, but if you find a replacement for Cleo, then you can easily use this Cleo. Um, and Edward, I think, kind of... I can't remember if he actually got a mana spiral or not. Let's check that out. He didn't, so he totally needs one, I would say. Um, if you're a three or lower, you, I think you just need a mana spiral of some kind at some point. Um, so yeah, I think Shadow actually is in a weird place because Grace has been their main healer for so long, and now they've kind of been thrusted into this, um, post, not really. I want to say, who's the other one that can, I thought Senna was a healer, but I don't, maybe she's not, she's an attack unit. Yeah, she's an attack unit. <laughs> I was thinking of gals, uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, the only weird thing about it is that Shadow has been relying on Grace so long that you can kind of see like they stopped releasing healers as soon as Grace was released. Because she really became the end-all be-all healer for Shadow, but now we are living in a world where Grace is no longer going to be the main healer for Shadow. So I could see them kind of buffing, giving a menace spiral to some of Erica. Heinwald's perfectly fine the way he is because he's thriving in this environment. Cleo's a perfectly good um, unit that if you don't have Gala Cleo, you can easily use her. Or if you don't feel like using Gala Cleo, then you can use Cleo. Um, and Edward needs a spiral. So yeah, that's kind of healers in general. Um, after, actually, after looking through them, I would still say the strongest is fire, followed up by wind. And then in Curse and Nihility, it would be light. But if we're talking not light, this is the, the 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 shadow problem here is that if you're talking current meta, this would actually be second. Um, if you consider the uh, the Agito farming where you don't have to deal with Chris and Hilly as a um, bonus, then this would be easily either first or second, depending on how you feel. Specifically, just because of Grace. Um, but in post Chris and Hilly, I actually feel like this would be closer to fourth in my mind. That's it. Not that there has to be a set specific like order to everything, but that's kind of how I'm seeing in my mind. Like, if they were to specifically give a buff to one of these, I would wish it for them to go first focus on water, then shadow, then light, wind, and then finally the one that leads at least fire. That's kind of what I'm seeing. In it. It's not in terms of like pure power. I'm saying in terms of what I think needs more. Because I can for sure look at the other elements and say like, oh man, there's pieces of this um, specific uh, group that I feel are perfectly fine, even if they're like not a lot of units in it. But water, man. Come on. This is ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> Only two water healers in the entirety of... Let me look at everyone else, just to be sure on this one. I accidentally clicked this. Three. Two. Two. Three. So actually, they're not too far off from everyone else. It's just maybe because they... 
you know, win actually went a very long time. But again, they were perfectly fine once Lowen got the spiral. I think that's the main thing that's going on here, is that I need more from Nurse Eileen, Thaniel, and Rickard. I need more from them. I don't know. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, thank you very much for watching it all to the end. It can be a little scrambly, but I did want to kind of talk about this for a while now. Um, especially now with Chris and Ahility straight in my mind and after dealing with Thor for so long and looking at my shadow units and kind of looking like at a, oh god, Grace isn't use really usable for me anymore. Who do I use now? Um, it made me think about this specific class that I have not actually had to think about in a very long time. So, end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next adventure. Peace out.